second part of the video where I will be installing the new thermostat on my BMW E30. housing this was the old thermostat now it comes with the gasket so this is how it was that's the new thermostat this crew was completely messed up now I actually had that opportunity to remove it This is the area where I'm going to install the thermostat housing with the new thermostat. I've given it a clean. Installation is now complete, all three bolts installed, now I will go ahead and connect this pipe. Double checked everything, it's all good. I will top the cooling system with water not coolant because I don't want to waste anything just in case if there's any leak or anything but before we get to that I need to bring my mic in and jump start this car because the battery is flat Let me top up the water. You can see the battery is pretty weak in this car. That's why I needed this jump start. Let's see. Uh, gotta give some time to charge and then we'll retry it. Right, tried my first jump lead. It won't take a start. Then I had to put a second one in. The engine started. Now it's just a matter of waiting time to see if the temperature sits right. So that's the temperature now. Cold just started so I'm trying to look for any leak. So far there's no leak which is good. I will open up this bleeding screw so the air can come out of the system. Yeah, let's get rolling. observing the temperature heating is on still cold air temperature is going up slowly my baby popping up some water air probably coming out from the 
have little screw. You can see that. Temper is sitting right in the middle. Good stuff. Let me go check this out. Any more air bubble? Uh, nope. Guys, hot air, yes! Woo! This is sick! Oh, yes! Let's check this out. Guys, so overheating issue is solved. Good stuff. Uh, the heating's work, working all good. No more overheating. And yeah, this feels good, man. Honestly, it is amazing. Guys, the car is just perfect now. No more overheating, good days. The most important thing when you do work like this is check for leaks, which I have checked already. No leaks whatsoever, which is good. Proud of my job. All I've done was replace the thermostat in this, which was nice and easy. Also replaced the blader screw on the thermostat housing. Glad it solved the issue of overheating. Yes, I know I've put water instead of coolant, which I'm gonna replace it later on. Anyways, thank you very much guys for watching. As always, if you have liked the video, just do make sure to give it a little thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that thing. And I will see you for next time. Goodbye.